All right, so uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, so this is probably one of my favorite books that I read this year. Um, I picked it up at first because of the fact that uh, I really liked Tinian's work on uh, uh, that Talon series that he did and uh, stuff like that. So I picked it up because I wanted to see what he'd do on, uh, on some kind of an independent book. Plus, I just love boom titles. Um, but it was The Woods. And um, this series is just so good. Um, I'm real happy that I went back and uh, and reread it all in one all in one sitting because uh, I've been wondering while I was reading the issues they keep having these flashbacks and there seems to be a um, a real important thing going on with the night that they were all performing uh, uh, the Midsummer's Night Dream. And that seems to be kind of an underlying theme. And what I noticed upon going back and reading these first eight issues was that um, this book is Midsummer's Night Dream. Um, I mean, almost almost directly. There's a couple of things that are changed for the most part. But uh, Midsummer's Night Dream is about woods filled with fairies and, um, you know... Uh, a group of, a troop of, um, entertainers and such that go into the woods. Uh, it's about unrequited love and, uh, the trials that they go through in the woods to, uh, to see that love. Um, <laughs> Dr. Monkeybot is pretty much Puck. He is directing them through the woods. Um, uh, Isaac and Adrian, their relationship is uh, a lot like Tadia and uh, and uh, Bottle, and you know, I mean, it is almost exactly um, Midsummer's Night Dream, which I really hadn't realized until I went back and I read it again. Um, this series has been picked up for thirty issues. Which, keeping with the Midsummer's Night Dream theme, which takes place over the course of four nights, um, maybe may get a little odd, but um, you know it explains so much. It explains. Uh, I mean, there's certain elements of like uh, Richard the Third in here, and uh, and Hamlet, and Macbeth. There's other Shakespearean things that are going on in this book, but for the most part, it is just. Midsummer's Night Dream. Um, everything takes place at night in this book because of the shortened days, because the night helps to heighten the confusion. Um, uh, it was written a long time ago that um, the first time that Midsummer's Night Dream was performed, that after a couple of performances, that the crowd was kind of sucked into the performance and kind of became... Um, members of the performance and uh, I think that's kind of interesting because of the fact that in this it appears as though that they've been uh, sucked into this alien world but have they really been sucked into this alien world or is it just kind of some kind of like dreamlike hallucination of, um, of what's going on but you know the woods it's it's one of the only things that uh, I went out and I bought the trade uh, three times just because I, I thought it was so good that I wanted to hand it out to people and it didn't seem like a lot of people were reading it. Um, the art in this is really good. The coloring in this is really good. Um, and, you know, I said it over and over again. It's one of the books that every month I look forward to and... Uh, can't wait to can't wait to see I think it's interesting on these covers too how when I say that maybe they're on this planet maybe they're not how in the background of all these you can see that the school's still there but so are the woods and uh, but uh, you know this this Dr. Monkeybot character is just hilarious like I say I just 
I find it really odd on the covers that it's kind of also alluding to the fact that uh, the woods are just outside the school. And the school is even, you know, what they were teleported in. But uh, I just think it's brilliance. I can't wait to see where it's going to go. Like I said, it got signed on for uh, 30 issues, which will make it the longest running boom title. And uh, anybody that's not reading it, I highly, highly, highly recommend it more than just about anything out there. Uh, and it was one of the best books that came out this year.